pleasant evening to you all. The National Assembly has not approved the bill to amend Article 88 in the Constitution. Nine members voted in favor and 22 voted against. The bill was brought Mama, before the House what? by the leader of the opposition, Sebastian Pillet, and it was the 11th proposed amendment to the Constitution. The amendment was asking no. that a new clause no be added to Article 88, stipulating Constitution that a member of the National Assembly elected as Speaker and Deputy Speaker should not hold any leadership role in their political party should and they should resign from their leadership positions. Some 630 workers of the Seychelles Trading Company STC are expected to be paid their bonus for the past year at the end of July. Finance Minister Nadi Hassan gave the assurances uh, during his answers uh, to the, a private notice question from the Leader of Opposition uh, during this morning's session of the National Assembly. Minister Hassan stated that the sum of 3.2 million rupees is said to be paid out to those workers. He added that such payments need to align with good practice and of auditing and certifying the account before payments. The minister gave assurances that uh, the, SPTC, the STC employers have been made aware on two occasions of uh, progress made to effect payments. Also during the National Assembly this morning, a Foreign Affairs and Tourism Minister said there could be direct flights between Seychelles and India before the end of the year. He said there may also be several flights from China, but it is not clear yet whether they will be regular flights or simply for a fixed period of time. Minister Sylvestre Radegon said that for the time being, Western Europe remains a Seychelles principal tourism market. It includes France, Germany, Italy, Spain, Switzerland, and Russia. Meanwhile, the Director General for Destination Marketing, Bernadette Vilme, explained that the last quarter of this year should see several other airlines returning to Seychelles. They include Edelweiss, uh, Condor, Turkish Airlines, and possibly Aeroflot as well. The Ministry of Transport says one of the biggest passenger airlines in India has expressed a strong interest to fly to Seychelles. It follows talks in Delhi last month between the Seychelles government and representatives of the airline Interglobe Aviation Limited Indigo. Transport Minister Anthony Dejaque says the airline has expressed interest to launch direct flights to Seychelles. He added that the move will not only increase tourists, but also create business opportunities in the country. The Ministry of Transport noted that visitors' arrivals from India to Seychelles have shown a positive trend over the past few years. A group of men from different work organizations are following a training on family and gender-based violence. Women in Action and Solidarity, WASO, and the Fathers Association organized this training to commemorate Father's Day. Majority of the facilitators for this training are where priests and pastors, the objective of the training is to develop a pool of competent men who could act as counselors, uh, counselors at their workplaces. The Japan uh, training uh, squadron uh, demonstrated karate and judo techniques and performed in a musical concert in uh, town today to promote friendship uh, and goodwill between Japan and Seychelles. The performance uh, took place at the National Museum at the National History Museum in town. It attracted many locals and visitors. The show also involved the participation, also included the participation of the National Judo team, which performed some techniques such as Jujutsu. The performance ended with a musical concert by the Japanese crew. The Japanese training squadron is on 
an overseas training cruise on two ships, the GS Kashima and JS Kashima and JS Shimakaze. They are making a tour from the 20th of May to the 11th of November in 11 countries. Seychelles is their second stop. Basically, during the tour, um, they are um, going to receive a lot of training, hands-on training, um, to become a full-fledged uh, maritime officer, uh, as well as um, they also study about uh, each country uh, at the port of call uh, to interact with the uh, people uh, at each port to nurture and develop uh, cultural friendship uh, between Japan and each country. They basically are here to learn about how Seychelles, are, Seychelles is collaborating with other countries as well um, in terms of anti-piracy um, and illegal fishing and all that. Yeah. Grand Cas donated 15,000 rupees to Plesos. The contribution will go towards the purchase of sewing machines for young mothers. This project is designed to provide young mothers with sewing, sewing skills to make them more marketable and financially independent. The donation ceremony took place at Kenwin House. And with this, we end today's summary. More news coming up at 8. Stay tuned.